With more and more fashion schools being established, fashion and design is a course that's gathering steam right here in Uganda. Tonight on the NTV Style Project, we analyze the work that was exhibited by the finalists at the fourth graduation ceremony of the Records Fashion School, Kampala. <laughs> You are watching Uganda's definitive style and fashion TV show, The NTV Style Project. Welcome aboard, my name is Tazibon Solomon and tonight I happen to be joined by the ravishing Bettina Tiana. <laughs> hey guys, welcome to the show. I'm so happy to be here and of course talking about what happened at the Record School of Fashion and I'm so happy that we're having so many fashion schools coming up. Mm -hmm. My friend also has a school, Fatima Asha, she has a school where she teaches fashion. Mm. So I'm so happy to see that people are taking fashion serious. Mm. So let's get right into it. And our guest for tonight, who's no stranger on the show, ladies and gentlemen, Creative Director, Jose House of Creations, Josephine Nakafer. It's good to see you on the NTV Style Project so again. Okay. Tonight we're talking about the fourth graduation ceremony of the Records yeah. Fashion School. Yeah. And I, for one, know that you're passionate about yeah. nurturing talent yeah. and skills. Yeah. Um, I've been informed you have an initiative that you're yeah. working on at the moment. Yeah, sure. Please engage us a bit about it. Yeah, it's uh, called Jose Youth Foundation. We are mm -hmm. empowering the youth with life skills in fashion and designing because, I mean, it's a skill that you can own mm -hmm. for the rest of your life. Like she, Bettina mentioned, uh, mm -hmm. Fatima, she has a school. Mm -hmm. So how many of those that she's nurturing are going to come out as big brands tomorrow? So that's mm. what we're basically doing, mm. giving the youth and enabling them to know that regardless of the challenges or, and uh, circumstances around you, you can overcome them if mm. you have a skill that you can use to have a living tomorrow. Parents now actually get to take their students, their, 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 their children to school to basically study fashion. And we basically did not have this happening, say, five, ten years ago, because, I mean, it was considered a very trivial <laughs> career. Yes, I'm, like, do you yeah. even earn from fashion? People still ask me this question, that, is it paying? And I'm mm. like, oh, wow, you need to try. <laughs> then you'll know it's really paying. Mm. And I'm so happy that um, our fellow Ugandans are embracing it. They are mm. buying Ugandan designers. Mm. So it's, it's amazing. Opening our dissecting board tonight is a student that actually got to showcase that night. And she goes by the name of Alice, Alice, and uh, well, looking at um, this work, first of all, I love the fact that you, you get to see the juxtaposition, you see color by color, I do not know what, what, whether that was the intention she was going with, mm -hmm. but like for this dress in particular, I feel, um, you know, it still looks like a craft project, it still looks like you know basically work from a student that's just freshly learned tailoring mm -hmm. i feel there still needs to be a bit of you know uh, polishing when it comes to execution uh, otherwise the ideas i sh i see are very commercial they're very mainstream i see a lot of things that girls like here in kampala can wear to the red carpet or to you know events that are dressy and whatnot but I feel there is a lot of polishing that uh, is required when it comes to execution. Yeah, I do agree with you. The fact that um, Alice, the same Alice we're talking about here, mm. went a trip to France to go and visit Ecole de Pre oh, Fashion yeah, School. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah, there was a competition uh, yes. where they had um, French students fly into Uganda and they did a collab and she really did an amazing piece. So for me to see such work from Alice, mm. I honestly expected something like, you know, mind blowing. So to me, this is like mediocre work. She should have done better. The same energy she had mm. the time when we had a competition that we actually even showed here on TV mm. with the French Embassy. I feel like that's the same energy we should have seen on their graduation. But at the end of the day, um, she's promising. Mm. I hope to see her you know, follow trains more. Mm. And let's see what she can do in the future. Josephine, what do you make um, of Alice's collection? My take would be, I think um, she's a designer, a great designer in making. Yes. Because during that time of Uganda France Friendship Week, when she showcased a very master, a beautiful masterpiece mm. that actually managed to make her win a trip to France to showcase. These are students that are still actually okay. She is graduating from mm. the institute, mm. and for her to present something like this, I applaud her mm. because there are so many graduates like from universities who cannot produce this kind of work. I love to be entertained. 
I love to go to a fashion show and basically look at things that I'll remember, yeah. things that will stick in my, you know, in my head even right yeah. after. And looking at Maria's work, I think she is, uh, she's really very promising when it comes to like costume design. Yeah. Yeah. You get. And uh, I think we've debated that on the show before yeah. as to whether there is market for a costume yeah. designer here in Uganda. But you know, us on the Cell Project stand for people who are trailblazers, people who pioneer things, people who are forward thinkers. And I think if Maria basically like just continues with this spirit and she puts out really, really impressive work like this, this is art, by the way. This is art for the brain to basically, you know, digest. I feel if she just continues, she has a bright future and things are definitely looking up for her in the industry. Well, um, it's good to be different. Mm. We all can be the same because we're all different people. And um, it's so hard for, I feel like most of the Ugandans do ready to wear. Mm -hmm. And they don't maybe produce for film or for editorial. And for her to, you know, step out of her comfort zone and not care what people are going to say is a very, very good aspect. Mm -hmm. um, I love people who are trailblazers, like you said. Mm -hmm. It's good to be your own person, to create your own, you know, sort of thing. And um, I hope um, this works for her because this is Uganda at the end of the day. Yeah. How are you going to market your work? So I feel like if she's doing this, she needs to understand what platforms she's going to upload her work. Hmm. Does she already know a market that is ready to purchase her work? Mm -hmm. That is very, very important in this fashion industry. Even in the artist industry, you must know who am I producing for. After school, it's graduation. Have mm. people liked my work? Okay, no, they haven't liked it. What do I do? How do I improve myself? So if Maria is out there and she's watching, I think you need to do more research on what you're doing. There are so many shows on YouTube that can help you improve your craft. And there are so many platforms. You can actually check on Google and see which platforms you can join mm. to showcase your work. And is it going to be for film? Is it going to be mm. for um, adverts? And I wouldn't discourage her. Just mm. keep pushing, but do as much research as you can. As it's you can. very, very important. Yes. It's not all about being different and just putting your work out there, out there and moving along. At the end of the day, yeah. it's not going to make you money. It won't make and you money. You know, um, we encourage uh, people like Maria to actually also use social media. So, yes. in, like you said, YouTube it helps you connect with like-minded yes. individuals. Yes. And you know, every now and then, maybe there's something that comes up, and you're like. You know? Yeah. So, and for example, somebody like um, Emosa DNA, mm. if you can search him on Instagram, he's one person that loves to go all out and do very different, different things. And mm. it has earned him um, spots at big uh, shows like Kampala Fashion Week, mm. the and stage he was show. New York Fashion New York. Week. He was in New York yeah. Fashion Week, so yes. you can imagine it's good to be different. Don't be discouraged. It may not be working out right now, but if you find like minded people, and people were fall, falling in the same bracket as you, it, it could actually work for you. So I'm, I'm happy that you're standing out. I think when I look at the theme she worked with, mm. is uh, nature underwater. Mm -hmm. When you see the kind of uh, craft work that she had on her collection, mm. I I don't think I don't um don't think Uganda has actually that kind of market where you see people sell so much of that. And even in the mo movie industry, we do not see so many mm. like movies selling mm. out like in Hollywood, mm. whereby you know you're going to make uh, to make a lot of money by designing such craft work for actors and actresses. Mm. Like you said, uh, she needs to understand the market, yes. Mm. And she needs to make sure that uh, she knows who is going to buy what she's producing. I mean, you can't just keep producing a craft work that is not going to have market. You're mm. spending a lot of money on the materials that you're using. You're spending a lot of time on the craft work you're putting out there. But who is going to consume it? Mm. How are you going to be able to sustain what you're doing if you actually don't have the market? Yeah. I just love her confidence. I really, really love her confidence. Mm -hmm. And I can't wait to see her collab with people like Emosa. And, you know, creating a platform, you know, to push your work. I feel like everything has changed to social media. Like, everything's about digital marketing. Yeah. If you have a good platform, even even though you have 1,000 followers, if you're using the right hashtags, the right people will approach you and they will yeah. want to use you. Mm -hmm. I mean, the film industry is really big in Tanzania, which is just a few hours from here. Uh -huh. So don't be discouraged. I love the fact that this is what you showcase on your graduation. So let's see more of that. Use the hashtags, use social media, and please guys, Google how to grow your social media. Everything is on is online. It's on Google. So you can you can know what to do and um, let's see how it goes for you. Following closely is a showcase by Brenda Twino Mugisha who took a different turn with her source of inspiration. Brenda was inspired by recycled tires and uh, basically when I look at uh, this collection, first of all, 
I um, love the fact that it's very architectural. You get to see a lot of process. You get to see a lot of, um, you know, architecture and like structure and, you know, in her tailoring. But then again, I feel that much, much as, you know, you, you get to see all that detail in her work, I feel it's kind of very, it's still not eye-catching. It's not, it's, you know, I would love to, especially if someone, if you're taking a different turn with your source of inspiration, I always tend to think that, I mean, your work should be, like, unforgettable. But, like, when I look at this, it's probably pieces that I've seen before on, like, different ramps every now and then. And uh, it's basically just about it. I feel she would have done more with the, the tubes in the tires, but I feel she kind of like just didn't go all out. I love the fringe pants the gentleman just walked out, the model just walked out with. Um, the fact that she is following trends, that's really good. This is something that I see for film like, you know, Game of Thrones, you know. And um, black is a very elegant color. Um, I like things that look expensive even though they're not really that expensive because I mean they are using a recycling method that is very very good and it's it's different and the same advice I have for them is the same advice that I gave to Maria. Mm. Make sure that you know your market because after school your parents have maybe been paying for your tuition, now you're done, you're out in the real world. How are you going to use your talent? To make money. What I like most about her collection actually, uh, of all the collections that they showcase, I think I would go for hers. Why? Uh -huh. it, um, it has a continuous story. Uh -huh. She worked with a theme. Yeah, it's cohesive. Exactly, and there is consistency. So that means she put her collection together. She's not just, she did not just get different pieces put together to make her collection. I think I credit her for that. And like Bettina uh, mentioned, uh, black is a color that you can work with and you hide those minor, minor mistakes at one point. I forgot to talk about uh, cohesion or consistency like yeah. uh, Josephine had pointed out in this, you know, collection. And you know that's a very, it's very, very important for a fashion designer or anyone that's basically looking to put out a body of work, if it's a body of work, if it's a collection, because I mean, we've got to see, time and time again on the show, we've got to see showcases that have pieces that look like they were literally gathered from different places or like different times. But like, it's very important because at the end of the day, much as, you know, people just come and see it and basically look at what you're showcasing, yeah. you know, there's a way you basically have to put out a message. And I yeah. feel you actually can do that by basically, you know, creating pieces that, you know, tell a story because at the end of the day, fashion is also a medium for communication. Sure. So how are you going to get your story out there if your work is not coordinated? So I feel it's a very, very important thing for students that are out there and students that are basically looking to put out work or showcase it anywhere. You are still tuned into the NTV Style Project. Let's take a breather for now. We will be back in a jiffy. Many of you have sent us messages asking about how to maintain short natural hair just like mine. Today we are here at Sparkle Saloon, a Wasi Small Branch, to take you through all the details you need to know about this trendy look. So let's get the show started.
Thank you so much, Hassan, for my hair session. Welcome. I enjoyed it. And I look amazing. I hope you guys at home can also see that. So, Hassan, tell me, how can one maintain this kind of haircut? Um, it is very simple. First of all, you have to be patient. Mm -hmm. You have to get time. Uh, first, cut hair, cutting hair. After dye, after dye, you're going to, pour, to apply the, the treatments. It's very simple because short hair, you can wash it normally. Then after, um, you apply some Vaseline on the scalp yeah. uh, to keep it to keep your scalp to be soft and healthy. And healthy. Yeah. Uh -huh. and that's that's it. that's it. How often should I come back for the haircut to make sure that my hair looks nice? How many times in a month? Twice? Three times? Two times in a, in in a, a month. month. Yeah. Okay. Very cool. So I'm um, tell me, how expensive is this kind of short natural hair to people that um, have weaves? Yeah, how expensive is it compared to those that have weaves? Uh, weave is very expensive. Yeah. So natural hair, these days you can see the guys in the, on the way, yeah. the, on the road, they're walking with natural, with natural hair, they're enjoying life. It's very easy to maintain. So I advise you guys, you have to look like this lady, <laughs> the beautiful lady. You see how she looks like? Yes. So how much is the haircut here? Uh, haircut is not very expensive because we are using uh, we are use, uh, 20, 25,000 yeah. uh, for haircut. Yeah. Then uh, dye, 35, okay. um, treatment, 25. It's not very expensive. Man. All right. So, so Hassan, um, thank you so much for that information. Where, are, where can people find you and um, can you give us some directions, maybe your phone number? Um, if you want a uh, uh, best barber or best hairdressers, yeah. we are here at Wasis Mall. Mm -hmm. We are open Monday to Monday. Thank you so much, Hassan. I enjoyed my hair session and I look amazing. Thanks to Sparkle Saloon or Wasis Mall Branch. You can find them on every shopping mall, guys. Acacia Mall. Um, Lugogo shopping mall, they are everywhere. So, guys, make sure you come and look amazing as I do. By the way, if you want the, the real touch, mm -hmm. it is here. You can find it here. Let me give you my contact 0774 uh, 0554 That is Hassan. The company number is 0200 yeah. uh, Sorry, 90 6 yeah. Four one four. All right. Thank you so much, and keep watching the Style Project. I'm your girl Bettina. As always, there's never enough time for all the fashion that we have in store for you. That's why you should make it a point to connect with us on our socials. Like our Facebook page, The NTV Style Project, and follow us on Instagram. The handle is the underscore NTV Style Project. The underscore Style Project. The NTV Style Project was filmed on location at the A Brands Tour at Garden City, your one-stop center for all the latest in menswear and accessories. And remember, the ASFAs are coming up. I happen to be nominated for Ugandan Stylist of the Year, so you should make it a point to vote for me by visiting www.abrainstyleandfashionawards.com. Scroll to the stylist category and pick me. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you all had an amazing time watching the show. And if you loved my look, you can get it on Fashion Nova. Make sure you go to my Instagram and find a discount code. My hair was by Sparkle Saloon Uganda and my makeup by Cider Beauty. See you next time. Josephine, any last words? Um, no, I'd like to encourage my youth just to keep following my social media platforms. Mm -hmm. uh, that is on my Facebook, Josephine Nakafero, Twitter at uh, J Nakafero, Instagram at J Nakafero, and, at, and Facebook, Jose Youth Foundation. They should get me there. We've definitely had a ball, guys. Yes, we did. And if you're an aspiring fashion designer or fashion girl or boy, make sure that you follow us on our socials. And also, please read a lot about fashion because there is so much to learn. It's not all about seeing the nice outfits on the mm -hmm. symbols. Mm -hmm. Make sure you read about it and, you know, get knowledge that others may not even know. Till then, from the crew and I, good night, good night and See take care. See you next week.